Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people, blessings to each and every one. Just a check in, come to give you guys some updates. Hope everybody being blessed, they bless as always. First time over the Just Blex TV, me just want to know, just press the subscribe button for free. Notification bell, all that mean you're not even have to make a call. Well, peeps, today is Saturday. Hope you guys just enjoying the weekend so far. And just like up the video, you know, please and thank you very much, you know. Just push it up in our ranking. And just remember to say right now, you hear me, you have to watch a complete video. If you can know where I go on Jamaica because you don't know a lot of updates, your side. Well, peeps, you don't know the whole measurement, you know. We do enough talking over this side, so I go kick start. First update is where cop seek construction worker for sex crime against 13-year-old student. Police are looking for a construction worker after he reportedly had sex with a minor in Kingston on Tuesday. The 21-year-old is accused of having sex with the 13-year-old female student at his home. Jaja, 13-year-old student. How she reach her own? Yeah, this is a serious thing you know, you know people. But we have to go see what I go on because we don't know if him take her away or what. But boy, this looks serious. Peeps, chef charged with wounding with intent following shooting incident. A 20 year old chef has been charged with shooting with intent after an alleged gun attack in Claremont St. Catherine on February 25. Charge is Chevan Bolton of Andes Drive, Claremont. According to the Portmore Police, the victim was at home when an argument developed between family members. Bolton, who allegedly lives in the same building, went for a firearm and pointed it at the complainant. A tussle ensued, ensued and Bolton reportedly fired several shots at the complainant who managed to escape on earth. A report was made to the police and an investigation commenced. Bolton was arrested on Tuesday and was charged following a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney. Yeah, my people. So in addition to the wounding charge, Bolton is also facing charges of using a firearm to commit a scheduled offense, possession of a prohibited weapon. So his court date is being finalized. Right? So you in I see him building, you know, relatives are now living there. Yeah, tell me say. One look at dispute. Instead of your child solve it as a man who say you have a look of firearm, you rather brandish it like you make everybody see say you're bad. Brother, for you do the crime, go and go do the time. Moving over where six manual college students faced in burglary, larceny, charges. So six students of Monroe College in St. Elizabeth are in custody, suspected of being involved in a case of burglary and larceny. So the students were picked up at a boarding house at Monroe District about 8 p.m. Thursday. You hear that, peeps? College student, you know, you know, where I go college right now for taking the thing for now, so they might gear up for the future. But the man them now only pre-booking you know, up people. Man them are pre-people things. I saw it for go, you hear that? Lock them up. Moving over people to where a cop charged with murder of 53-year-old farmer. Yes, so a 30-year-old policeman has been formally charged for the 2022 murder of a 53-year-old farmer in St. Elizabeth. So charge is Lakari Barrett, a police officer from... Franklin Town in Kingston. In addition to the murder charge, Barrett was also slapped with five counts of wounding with intent in connection with an incident in a compound town, St. Elizabeth, on Thursday, January 6, 2022. So, reports from the Black River Police are that about 9 30 pm, Barrett was at an event in the area when a fight developed between two men. Barrett intervened and was attacked by a group of people. It is alleged that Barrett opened gunfire at the crowd, killing the farmer. Lied. Yeah, my people, and injuring five others. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, man, dirt lied, does, man, and then injuring five others. So, me just as a peeps, 
this a copy of from Kingston. The man go over the country place and go deal with it. Mean. Mean, mean, mean. Because you can shoot up so much people. I'm supposed to do that update, you know. You know, it's supposed to was awake, you know. Yeah, man, awake in a compound town we caused this incident. You know, Jaja. Because when me hear me shock too, you know. When me heard. Moving over to where alleged gangsters accused of murder plot from behind bars. So Supreme Court Judge Justice Caroline Ty Powell on Thursday ruled that alleged leader of the Westmoreland based King Valley Gang, Derval Williams, otherwise called Loki, and his co accused Christian Grant have a case to answer for conspiring cell phones while behind bars at the Horizon Adult Remand Center to murder a crown witness. I hear that I go on, you know, people. Years this I go on. <laughs> it non stop. So, farmer killed in Hanover was wanted for murder in St. Elizabeth. The police have confirmed that a farmer who was killed in Lagood, Hanover, last week was wanted for murder in St. Elizabeth. The bullet riddled body of 36 year old Jamar Miles, otherwise called Bossed, was found on May 7 in a pig pen at Fish River Road. Right, my people? Yes, yeah, so Bossed, yeah, man, wanted for murder. Yeah, yeah, man. So two men, yeah, my people, got shot up, right, at Barton's in St. Catherine. Yeah, my people. You don't know the news foot out like they dirt, but we're not going to confirm it yet because I get this from last night and I had checked by any news feed to see if we can see nothing crap up. But you don't know where earlier times, yeah, man, with days earlier times, you know. Yes, you know, say that I go on from what you hear, you sight? So we're going to see what go on. So, peeps, Jamaicans living in Cayman killed in five vehicle collision. Right, my people, that are going on, what are going on? The police in Cayman Islands, yes, my people, yesterday reported that three people who were killed in a fiery crash on Monday are all Jamaicans. They are being identified as 41-year-old Shakara Stewart, 30-year-old Junior Whitaker, and 53-year-old Vinry Grant. The police say the Jamaicans were living and working in the Cayman Islands. Right, my people, I don't know this is Shakara, alias Kara. Right, so also a major motor vehicle accident in Providence, St. James 2 vehicle collision, one man dead, vehicle severely damaged. Right, so we just are going to move over again, my people. Yes, to wear a photograph of a man said to be known as Shane Bats, who was reportedly fatally shot, you know, last night in Grand Spain by unknown assailants. Right, my people, so that I go on. This is Shane Bats, right, and this man here. Yeah? Yeah, man, got dirt, you know. Yes, round a grand spin. Mm hmm. Round so when they're ready for pepper, they saw pepper. So thieves broke into a car at the Pista Hut parking lot in Mandeville while a female driver and her two babies went to buy pizza. A school bag belonging to her 80 year old son was stolen along with another bag with important documents. Right, my people. Mm-hmm. So I that I go on pan what I go on. Thief them all and they, they, they let loose. Yeah man they let loose out there so my people you know, just look out on here and watch you know things cause they may all chink and piranha here and all play. So man almost deported to Jamaica files lawsuit against Florida Cup. Yeah, my people. So a man has filed a lawsuit against Florida Sheriff whom he claims wrongfully detained him and almost had him deported to Jamaica. Well, peeps, to get more on this, I can just go over to the Jamaica Observer. But I'm just I give you guys, you know, just the main ingredients. Yeah, man. If you know, say, right now, you know, the Jamaicans, them troubled all over the world. People, man, get to know out of them place. But anyway, my people, I hope you guys just stay safe, you know. Yeah man, you don't know me do enough talking also. You don't know the whole matter, man. Just like up the video, you know, people. Share it with somebody, you know. A friend, family, loved one. Just share it. Yeah man, just share it because you don't know how good things you go on with. We're not going with bad things. So peeps, you don't know me do all enough talking too, you know. 
start get to the walking you guys just enjoy the rest of the week please stay safe as always blessings to each blessings to all up top And them for no side, Jai Meds, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them say prior words. When the healings are trying for you, was he a dire hurt? The most I alert, if I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?